Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Nightingale Plays Factorio. Buses, trains, planes, and automobiles. So I um, did a bit of stuff off camera, just kind of poked around the base, made sure everything was in order, fixed a couple things here and there, um, and realized that um, I don't have any electric mining trails, so I really couldn't have built that uh, that mining tray. So we're, we're going to make sure we have enough. We're, we're really short on uh, circuits, so I, I set up a little box to put the circuits in. But I wanted to get our, uh, our uh, first bus set up. So this is going to be our smelting bus. On our smelting bus, we have got coal. No, wait, the bottom one is fuel. This one is coal. So the distinction being is that on this fuel line, later on, if we're getting low on coal and got lots of... Uh, oil products and things like that, I may start putting solid fuel or liquid fuel canisters or some other stuff on here. So this bottom belt, I, I don't care what goes on here as long as it burns. Um, could put iron, We could put our electric poles on here. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Moving on, we have uh, coal for coal-based things. Uh, iron ore is used for concrete production. Concrete is going to be part of the smelting. Stone, stone we need for uh, there's a couple things in mod. mod. And then there are, uh, as I calculated it, about seven different liquids or gases. So I got a little space here in case I need to do stuff with uh, with underground belts. Um, these underground belts that I have right now aren't going to be able to go around these, but by the time I get to the fast ones, seven might still be too much. But um, the underground pipes, they they stretch. You know, they're, they're, they're quite spacious. So, so we're going to have a lot of liquids and gases and things like that bust on, on the smelting bus. So our actual smelting lines are going to be south of here. They're going to start, uh, I'm thinking right here, right about here. Um, I'm also... I'm, I'm actually thinking I'm going to install uh, landfill. Haven't done it yet, but then I don't have to be so concerned about this water. So, I mean, if I need to go out into the water a little bit, I need to go out to it a little bit. So be it. So we did end up using both lines of that coal there. So the other thing we're going to do is um, we're going to call back. Um, you're at coal pickup. Hey, why don't you come back here? So we're going to set up um, something to actually put some, some fuel in here. Would be nice, right? So we're going to join everything up, then split it off again. And go down and just figure out where I need to put my inserters to, to fuel up the engines. One's probably going to be right there, right there. Perfect. Okay, so he was at uh, 200 and 200. He, he would have gone for quite a while yet. Uh, but it's nice to get that taken care of. So I got my farl parked up here. I realize that there's a very nice little spot he can park in right now because the iron, uh, the coal train is the only thing going. It, it works quite nicely. So I took off that little loop. I extended this out a little bit. Just want to keep the number of crossings and stuff down. It, it just makes signaling a little bit simpler. Added this loop in for the return of the iron train. I think that's it for the uh, train stuff that I changed. Up here, I finally started putting basic circuits in a box. So I could just reach way over with long reach and grab them if I can find the box right there. 134. That is now enough to build 90 electric mining drills, which should be plenty. So let's queue up about 60 of those. Uh, check on everything else. Iron, steel. Uh, steel is a bit low because we're going to need the steel to build stone furnaces. And hey, we're not researching anything. Combat rope followers. Uh, you know, if I've got nothing better, I'm a big fan of the the military related stuff. There's where's turret damage? Turret damage, or we'll do the cheaper one. Bullet shooting speed. We'll grab uh, whatever ammunition is there. I also added a fifth smelter. Just This was starting to back up a little bit. 
All right, I think that's everything we need. Yeah, these guys haven't been producing in a long time. This line's been kind of messed up. In fact, these guys... Huh, they're all mined out. Imagine that. That means you will never get resources, so we can take you guys off. Wow, that... Uh... That feels like it got mined out really quickly. I guess they... Oh, they were must have been on little half spots or something like that. Yeah, because there was a big hole because of the water. That's probably what happened there. They were at the end of the line, so they were always the, the first ones being used. Alright, so we've got the start of our smelting bus going. Uh, we are going to now go and get the iron to put in the smelting bus. So that is going to be, well, this is further than I remember, thought. So let's think about this a bit. We're just going to turn off, stop this, zoom way out. Oh yeah, we're still too far. Get back in the train, go up until we can at least see stuff. Okay, so we'll give lots of room to the south. So we'll just do a, a turn off here and head to the west. Uh, signal things up properly. You're there. Exit. Exit. Entrance one for there. Oh, I also fixed up my uh, my slots down here. Give it a little bit of room on the entryway. There we go. Um, probably want to get Farl putting down the poles again, and I miss my turn. Go. Oh. Should do it. Okay. So we'll go this way for a bit. Till about here. It's actually way too far. I don't think there's anything else here I need. I mean, that's uh, secondary coal, maybe one day. We'll see if we ever get to that point. Oh, oh, I thought I turned you off. Great. All right, so hopefully we're actually going to build a mining base here. Just going to end up spending all the time playing with trains. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Play trains are fun. Love trains. Who doesn't love trains? And why not? Okay, looks about right. Uh, yep. Okay, that signal went red. That means you need something there. Something there. Green, 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 green. Alright, um, now we figure out where we need to go to loop back around. This is going to be a long ways. A very long ways. I thought I took something. Oh, I did. The shooting speed. I just finished so quickly. Turn. Go straight. Turn again. I hope I brought this stuff to uh, build another train. Probably did. Turn here. And stop. Alright, um... What's the best way to do this? Let's, uh... Let's actually back this off a bit. I need to... I do need to leave room for the copper here. So let's actually, let's leave lots of room for the copper and have this, or we could even build the copper now. I mean, we're going to need to right away anyway. Yeah, let's do that. We'll build the copper. We'll put the train 
for the copper down. But we're going to make that the iron train because that's the one we need first. I'm trying to build and drive at the same time. It doesn't work that well. See, for that, for that kind of corner, come on. For that kind of corner with just a little chicane, you don't need... Uh, you don't need to actually do any extra rail in the middle. So that's nice. Okay, signals. Signal this properly. There and tree. That looks fine. And go. Out of rail. Really? Keep just a little bit for myself. Go like that. And let's. Okay, so it's going to need two engines, but it's only going to get one. And four cars. And I'll get a fifth car so we can size it upright. Looks like we've got enough room, so let's get the farl out of the way. Why well, you don't need to be there. Signals, you wait before entering. You can wait there. You can get out of the way and you need to build a train stomp. Oh yeah, that is way longer than what I need. I might even shrink that up a bit. Because I just want the last car to be straight. And I gotta f remember that this is an actual this is an engine, not a not a car. So the train stop, train stop. We need a few of those. Ten. Right there. So this is now copper or pick up. Pick up. So you can go to copper or pick up. And remove it so I don't forget. Um, I'm doing this so I can line things up. Um, let's do double inserters again. I'm just going to drop all the inserters. Yeah, so you see on, on the uh, on the other station that went north-south, I was complaining. Do I really not have the near inserters? I thought I researched that. I guess I just talked about it. But yeah, so here, this, this car has space for five inserters. This car actually also has space for five inserters. I just placed them wrong. This one has space for five, unless I think you can put one here. See, they, they just don't align nicely. It is just so frustrating. You know, and those, those little things really, really bother me. There, there, either end. And that will do it for our coal state or um, copper station. I'm gonna fix this. Uh, put it there. Make all the signals go crazy. So it's this one here. Can I pick that up? No. That drives me nuts. So yeah, there's. I've obviously got a few complaints about uh, about rails. There's no, nothing absolutely horrible. You wait up there before you enter. So where are we relative to the the iron? If we do another train exactly like this, just a little weave, uh, is that going to be a problem? I don't think so. I mean, it just means we'll have belts pushing it a little further. Really not that big a deal. I don't need you, Farl. I can do this myself. All right, copper train, you are now an iron train. Oh, 
Okay, um, near inserters. Let's actually research that. It looks like we're almost there. So hard to tell. Yeah, it looks good enough. Train stop in here. You are iron or pickup. Just make sure you backed off enough. Iron or pickup. That is your station. You can be there for 120 seconds. You can research. So that's the smart inserters. Stack size. No, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Um. I think this eventually might lead to something that I need. Not at the moment, titanium. Lab efficiency, we could always do lab efficiency. Mm, feels too early to do some of these things. I'm not using a shotgun right now. Sniper turrets would be nice. Uh, turrets to mark two turret. Yeah, there's no reason I can't be doing mark two turrets so let's do those all right so we're building this this one backwards start from the train then build everything else which really think about that that makes more sense anyway okay so i made the mistake i told myself not to make over there and i'm treating this like an actual cargo car when it really isn't Power, 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 power. And you got missed. So we're gonna belt stuff around to the other side to do inserters over here. Um, hmm. So if we have a chest here, inserter there. That is looking mighty tight. I mean, we don't do double-sided. Hmm. As long as it's got green signs, I'll research it. Should have left myself more room, maybe. Or I could change this, somehow come from the side, I don't know. Forget it. One-sided. Too much effort. Alright, so what do we need in the middle? Chests. Get some more iron chests. It's Bob's mods. I'm going to have hyper inserters. I'm going to insert so fast. Nobody's going to be able to to tell. I mean, the train's going to get filled up in seconds. I actually, yeah, of course I'm hooked up to the grid. These guys are, are working. Um, yeah, as soon as I get this guy mining, it's I'm going to need more more power. Not a not a huge surprise. I knew that was coming. All right, stuff comes in. Now let's do stuff comes out. Forty three. Thought I. Oh yeah, I've got 93. I got plenty. So let's start them here. Um, you know, I really just want to go and run them up like that. It's going to be more than I need, though. So let's space them out properly.
you can just go right there. Should I be doing Mark II drills? I'm pretty sure I don't have the tech for it. But if I did, would I want to? What does it take? I think it's mostly iron, or mostly steel. Uh, a lot more electronic circuits, which I actually, funny enough, have more of. Because I was actually putting that in a box, because I knew I'd need a lot of it. We're doing 50. All right, um, so I can spend the rest of the episode clicking this button which I will do off camera. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been Nightingale. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please click the like or, uh, I was say submit button. Please click the like or subscribe buttons or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.